like so many of us did in elementary school computer labs. Today, we set off on the Oregon Trail. The romanticized experience of heading west into the frontier appeals to all of our adventurous spirits. But the Oregon Trail is not a place of legend. It's a physical history that we can still interact with today. During the 19th century, gold rushes in California and Alaska, as well as federal legislation like the Homestead Act, offered financial and land incentives to anyone brave enough to move into the unsettled western territories. A network of towns, forts, and trails soon emerged. The route began in Missouri and consisted of grassy plains and river crossings, until western Nebraska when things began to appear on the horizon. Scotts Bluff and Chimney Rock are the iconic buttes that have been ingrained in our national identity through books, movies, and video games. Few people know that they are part of a larger natural landscape known as the Wildcat Hills, which stand like a sun-bleached cousin of Monument Valley over the surrounding grassland. As pioneers ventured west, the first butte they saw was actually a lesser-known rock formation known as Courthouse and Jail Rocks, which marked the eastern extreme of the Wildcat Hills. Courthouse and Jail Rocks, Chimney Rock, and Scotts Bluff are all buttes contained within the larger Wildcat Hills. These hills are actually a 50-mile-long plateau that is slowly eroding into these impressive buttes. After Courthouse and Jail Rocks, the second major butte is Chimney Rock, 20 miles northwest. Chimney Rock is easily recognizable for the way it stabs 300 feet into the air, like a knife cutting through the plains. Chimney Rock was designated a National Historic Site in 1956, but carries the distinction of being a National Park Service affiliated area, meaning it's operated by the Nebraska State Historical Society. Following the trail another 23 miles west, you arrive at Scotts Bluff, the focal point of the hills. At a height of 800 feet, it rises proudly above the Nebraska Panhandle. Scotts Bluff is the most approachable section of the hills. Period wagons and artifacts give tourists the exact photo opportunities they hoped they would find. Several short but rewarding trails give views from atop the bluff. From here, the entire Wildcat Hills range is easily visible. Also visible is the town of Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, which is curiously spelled differently than the monument. As the Plains states were settled, a sizable population began to live in and farm this fertile region. Steps were taken to preserve some of the more well-known natural features. Scotts Bluff was designated a National Park Service National Monument in 1919. While the Wildcat Hills have been denied their place as a cohesive national landscape, at least its most recognizable features have become part of our national identity. <laughs>